Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for our school board meeting, our May school board meeting. I'm going to uh, call the meeting to order. Roll call, please. Mrs. Mullet. Present. Mr. Hennigan. Here. Mrs. Hines. Mr. Derman. Here. Mr. Lewis. Mr. Howard. Here. Mr. Nation. Here. Mr. Jeter. Here. Mrs. Seeley. Mrs. Drucker. Here. Mr. Bettencourt. Here. Mr. Womack. Here. Mr. Hersey. Mr. Kuzan. Here. Mrs. Belisario. Here. Thank you, Ms. Randolph. Would everyone please stand and join me as Mr. Nation says the invocation and then the Pledge of Allegiance? Let us pray. Father, we ask that you surround this board tonight with your grace and presence, that we may take comfort that you are abiding with us, and that we may also take comfort that you are providing us with your counsel and your wisdom as we deliberate and make decisions on behalf of the parents, children, and educators in this parish. We thank you for all that you do for us and ask that you continue to support this parish and the work that we do to promote the educational opportunities therein. This we pray in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Nation. Do we have any recognition, uh, any visitors that the school board members would like to recognize tonight? Okay. Well, we do have some special recognitions tonight, though, from Mr. False and Dr. Sanford. So I'm going to turn that the program over now to um, Superintendent False. Thank you, Ms. Mullet, board members. I've never seen so many happy administrators in one place in one night. You would think there's like <laughs> maybe a half a day school after something. I, I saw so many smile and happy principals and assistant principals. I said, man, we must be doing something right. So I, then I realized they have one day of school left. You know, so. so I thank you all for being here tonight. It's certainly a, a great night to honor a lot of um, very special people, employees students and um, name some administrators so I'm looking forward to a great night first we want to start off with our outstanding character and citizenship award and first the superintendent's honors people for showing outstanding character and citizenship and tonight we have award winners that do that on a daily basis I'm proud to announce the winner of the 2015-16 superintendent's award is teacher Mandy Donegan from Pontchartrain Elementary Ms. Donegan is known for her kind heart inside and outside the classroom. She has a couple of nicknames. One of them is the Shoe Fairy, uh, because if she sees a child with torn up shoes, she immediately, with a kind heart, goes out and gets them a new pair. Take a look at Channel 13 and how they captured the wonderful work that Mandy does on a day basis. Punch Train Elementary teacher Mandy Donegan is the winner of this year's Superintendent's Award for Outstanding Character and Citizenship an honor that this first grade teacher considers just a part of her daily life. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool to, to have an award to recognize people that do what they do every day. This is what I do every day, so it, it's still overwhelming. Nicknamed the encourager by her peers, Dunnigan is known for being there not only for her own students, but for all students throughout the school. By loving on other people, it builds me up to continue to do what I do. I love seeing a person that's having a hard time or having a hard moment and a simple note that I wrote made their day. But it's not only students inside the walls of PES who need love from the encourager. Dunnigan and her husband founded a nonprofit called Our David Project to help those in need throughout the community. Its focus is educating and equipping and empowering children 
So we do a lot of stuff in the community to build up children. Pontchartrain Elementary Principal Suhi Ledet commends Donegan's ability to help all students be their best self. Ms. Donegan um, brings out the best in the students that she works with, not just the children in her classroom, but our entire school. Um, she makes them feel so welcomed, so happy, safe that they're that she is a part of their lives. Grant Yenny, Channel 13. And when I watched that video for the first time a couple of days ago, it made me realize just exactly what we say. You know, we talk about letter grades and test scores, and there's nobody higher than Pontchartrain Elementary. If you talk about high-performing schools in the state of Louisiana, Pontchartrain Elementary is right there. But it's things like that that you see that those teachers are doing every day at Pontchartrain that make it every child every day. So I congratulate you for that. We're all proud of you. We have an award for you, and we have a generous sponsor of Capital One Bank. Unfortunately, the bank representatives are out of town, but they send their congratulations on this honor. We'll put that on the video. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. I also want to introduce and acknowledge Dr. Suhi Lede, for acting principal of Pontchartrain, who submitted her for the war. Congratulations as well. <laughs> In second place, our other finalist this year for the superintendent's war was student Carissa Greenlee from St. Tammany Junior High. Carissa is known for her friendly personality, and I just got to meet her outside, and that is certainly true. Her initiative and her kindness. Let's take a look at Channel 13 video highlighting Carissa and what she does. Carissa Greenlee is a bright, talented, and smart eighth grader at St. Tammany Junior High. And as the runner-up for the Superintendent's Award for Character and Leadership, she exemplifies the qualities that this prestigious award represents. She is a role model for all her peers to follow whether it's academically, whether it's club or organizations, whether it's community service. No surprise then that Carissa strives to be the best student she can be. She works hard in class, always wanting to do her best, and she carries that passion into her extracurricular activities. Does anyone have any ideas for themes? We do a lot of things in student council. We decorate for dances. We do concessions, and then I'll help count the money sometimes. And student council is just a very fun way to interact with your peers, and it's an amazing place to be. Another way that Carissa interacts with her peers is through tutoring. She spends time helping others with classwork whenever she can. I think that I'm helping someone and making the world a better place when I help tutor people. Helping others is important to Carissa. Even when dealing with an unexpected illness with her dad, she stepped up to help others. I go with my dad to the DeVita Center and I help out people and I'll push them out in their wheelchairs, I'll help them get to their cars, open doors for them, make them make it a more happy place around there. We know the leader she is between the walls of this school and on the campus, but now it's hard to get exposure for everybody in the district. With a passion for helping others and making people happy, Carissa Greenlee is a standout student with a big heart and a big smile. Melody Swang, Channel 13. And Carissa has her mom and dad here with them. Congratulations. Thank y'all for being here. And also Ms. LaCoste and Mr. DiCarlo are here. Thank y'all for nominating and being a good role model for her as well. So congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Falls. Congratulations to all. Absolutely. Would any board members have any comments? Congratulations to both of you. Okay, next up we have Dr. Sanford, and she's going to start us off with the National Merit Scholars. Good evening, Ms. Mullet and all board members. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition for recognition and scholarships, which began in 1955. 
Of the 1.5 million students taking the PSAT qualifying test, some 50,000 students with the highest scores qualify for recognition in the National Merit Scholarship Program. Approximately 16,000 of these high scores are later identified as being semifinalist. These students are the highest scores from each of the respective states. Roughly 15,000 semifinalists then receive notification of being a finalist and receive a National Merit Scholarship Award. From the pool of finalists, 7,500 are then selected to receive the National Merit Scholarships and are recognized as National Merit Scholars. I am very pleased to announce that we have 15 National Merit semifinalists Of the, from the 15 pool, we have 13 of those who are finalists. And four of those are scholars for this school year. So without further ado, let's meet our finalists. From North Shore High School, we have three finalists. The first is Mason Calico. Mason will be attending the University of Louisiana at Lafayette and plans to major in chemical engineering. He has participated in BAN, National Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta. Mason also served as North Shore High's band vice president. Mason. Maria Liu. Maria will be attending Scripps College and plans to major in pre-medicine. She's participated in National Beta Club, Team 1912 Combustion Robotics Team, Quiz Bowl Team, National Honor Society, and has been recognized as a North Shore High Valedictorian. Unfortunately, Maria is unable to attend, but we're asking Principal Javia to take her certificate and present to her. <laughs> and Alexandra Barron. Alexandra will be attending Texas A&M and plans to major in chemical engineering. She has served as choir president and student ambassador. She's also participated in National Honor Society, International Key Club, and International Thespian Society. Alexandria was recognized with the distinction of all-state chorus member and a North Shore High valedictorian. Alexandra probably would like to be here tonight, but unfortunately she's having her wisdom teeth extracted. So we're asking again Principal Jabia to present this to her. <laughs> From Fountain Blue High, there are two students. The first student is Stephen Kelly. Stephen will be attending the University of Notre Dame and plans to major in public policy analysis. Stephen has participated in Bulldog Buddies, National Hispanic Honor Society as Vice President, Mu Alpha Theta as Treasurer, National Honor Society, and Quiz Bowl. He's been awarded the Knights of Columbus Medallion Award and recognized for American Legion Boys State in Louisiana. Alan Cuff. Alan will be attending the University of Southern Mississippi and plans to major in biochemistry. Alan has participated in National Honor Society, Quiz Bowl as president, Science Club, Student Ambassadors, and the Fountain Blue High School Crimson Band, which includes marching band, concert band, and jazz ensemble. Alan also served a drum major for two years and was vice president of the YMCA Teen Leaders Club. From Mandeville High School, we have four. The first is Avery Ferguson. Avery will be attending Mississippi State University and plans to major in English. 
Avery served as Key Club, Key Club President, National Honor Society Secretary, and was a member of the Ethnic Food and Culture Club. She has received the Mississippi State University National Merit Finalist Scholarship and Mississippi State University Non-Resident Scholarship. <laughs> Jacques Gilliot. Jacques will be attending Fordham University and plans to major in engineering. Jacques was a member of the Drama Club. He also participated in the Political Thinkers Club and Latin Club. He has received the Fordham University National Merit Semifinalist Scholarship. <laughs> Rebecca McCubbin. Rebecca will be attending the University of Denver and plans to major in mechanical engineering. She participated in indoor and outdoor track and field, youth in government, Mu Alpha Theta, and National Honor Society. Rebecca has received the University of Denver's Chancellor's Scholarship Award. <laughs> Jessica Saley. Jessica plans to attend the University of Notre Dame and major in philosophy. She was a member of the Mandeville High School First Robotics Team as well as the Writing Club. Jessica could not be with us tonight and so we're asking Principal Bundy to come and accept on her behalf. At this time, I would like all of the National Merit finalists and their parents, as well as administrator, to please stand, me, stand and join me in congratulations. <laughs> the National Merit Scholars from North Shore High Dana Park. Dana, Dana is the daughter of Junie Park and Sung Wei Young. Dana will attend Duke University in the fall and will pursue a double major in computer science and economics. Dana has served for three years as drum major in the North Shore High Band, placed in the top three for American Taekwondo Foundation National Championships, participated as a North Shore High Ambassador, is a member of Mu Alpha Theta and National Beta Club. She's also recognized as North Shore High's valedictorian and an AP scholar with distinction. Dana is enjoying some time in Paris, so we're asking her principal to accept on her behalf. <laughs> Benjamin Rowley. Benjamin is the son of Clark and Lisa Rowley. Benjamin will be attending Massachusetts of Institute of Technology, Massachusetts, oh, tongue tied, Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the fall and plans to major in physics and computer science. Benjamin participated in the North Shore High swim team, team 1912 combustion robotics, North Shore High's band, debate club, and is a life scout for Boy Scouts. He's also been recognized as North Shore High's valedictorian, co-founder of the North Shore High Debate Club, and Louisiana Boys State participant. Benjamin cannot be with us tonight, but he is at MIT as we speak. Catherine Simmers. Catherine is the daughter of Sharon and Robert Simmers. Catherine will be attending Rice University in the fall and plans to major in bioengineering. Catherine has served as North Shore High's Governor of Ambassadors, Student Council Representative, a member of Mu Alpha Theta, North Shore High's swim team, National Honor Society, a national um, North Shore High valedictorian, Quest Bridge Scholar, AP Scholar with Distinction, and is the recipient of the Randolph College Book Award. Wow. From Fountain Blue High School, Matthew Murtu. 
Matthew is the son of Mark and Lisa Murtu. Matthew will be attending the University of Southern California in the fall and plans to major in electrical and electronics engineering. He has received the University Merit Scholarship, the Presidential Scholarship from the University of Southern California as well. Matthew has served as cross-country team captain, a student ambassador, the National Hispan Hispanic Honor Society President, recognized with the District Attorney Award, the FHS Student of the Year, the WWL a Athlete, Wendy's Heisman High School, Louisiana State winner. And tonight, he has already entered the workforce, so he is fulfilling some obligations with his employer. I would like all National Merit Scholars to please join Mr. Foltz at the front. And again, I would ask the parents of these National Merit Scholars to, and their principal to please stand. And I would like the entire group to come for a group photo, please. The entire group for a group photo. All students. Not you, These students are among our best and brightest. Congratulations. And we know that all of these students will represent St. Tammany very well, and we will hear great things to come. Absolutely. Dr. Sanford, I think you still have um, some more recognitions Yes, ma'am, I do. Thank you. I believe that now we're at Advanced Ed. We are. Advanced Ed is an international accrediting agency dedicated to advancing the quality of education for students worldwide. Maintaining an accreditation status demonstrates to our community our commitment to excellence, our openness to external review and feedback, and our desire to be the best that we can on behalf of the students that we serve. I would like to share with you some highlights of our commitment to this endeavor. In 2005, we were the, one of the first districts in Louisiana to be recognized for system accreditation. That meant all district schools, as well as the district office, were involved, and we met the high quality standards as developed by Advanced Ed. Reaccreditation, as you know, was awarded in 2010 and most recently 2015. Let's recap our history. Since 1958 until present day, all of our schools have maintained accreditation. That is extremely noteworthy. Mandeville High has accumulated 59 years of accreditation. They started in the school year 1957. In the school year 1923, Slidell High first obtained accreditation, and they have 93 years of accreditation. But the milestone of achievement is not one of those two schools. The milestone tonight is Covington High School. Accreditation for Covington High dates back to school year 1915 and now marks 100 years of continuous accreditation. Covington High School is one of only seven schools in the state of Louisiana to have reached this milestone. At this time, I would like to call to the podium Mr. Foltz and Covington High School's principal, Ms. Rosalind Hansen, for a special presentation.
It's an honor to receive this recognition tonight on behalf of Covington High School. I will say that um, I haven't been there for 100 years, but as a former <laughs> graduate of Covington High and a parent of, of all four of my children who graduated from Covington High School, and to this day, Covington High School continues to meet the needs of our very diverse population, um, serving the, the motto for and the mission for St. Timothy Parish of every child every day. And we will continue to do this and provide academic excellence for our students so that they can pursue their purpose, their passion, and their pride. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hanson. Thank you, Ms. Hanson, and congratulations. Board members, do we have any comments? Okay, we will continue, Dr. Sanford, with the uh, presidential U.S. Presidential Scholars. Yes, ma'am, I know you're getting tired of me, but no, it's not. an honor to be standing I'm here with these awards on behalf of the school system. The United States Presidential Scholars Program was established in 1964 by executive order of the President. This was to recognize and honor some of the nation's most distinguished graduating high school seniors. The selection of approximately 4,000 original program candidates is based upon SAT and ACT scores. Application is by invitation only. Therefore, schools may not individually apply, nor may their schools nominate them. A review committee evaluates the candidates based upon their academic achievement, personal characteristics, leadership and service activities, as well as an analysis of their essay. Approximately 800 candidates are named semifinalist and forwarded to the Commission on Presidential Scholars for further review in April. St. Tammany had seven of these students. There were four from Mandeville High and three from North Shore High. From that pool, each year, up to 161 students are named as Presidential Scholars, one of the nation's highest honors for high school seniors. To commemorate their achievement, the Scholars are awarded the United States Presidential Scholar Medallion at a ceremony sponsored by the White House. With a grade point average of 4.6, a score of 35 on the ACT, a National Merit Finalist, the recipient of a full scholarship to Rice University, and one of the nine Louisiana finalists, and I might remark that only two were from public non-selective schools in Louisiana. I am very pleased to announce St. Tammany's U.S. Presidential Scholar Ms. Katherine Simmers from North Shore High School. And I would like Catherine's parents and principal to come also for a photo with Mr. Fultz. Congratulations. This is what makes this public school system a great public school system because we are all focused on the same thing and that is to meet the needs of every child every day no matter who that child is or what their needs are and I am so proud to be a part of that. So congratulations again to everyone. Appreciate it. Um, yes. We're going to take a small break to let um, some of the parents and people who want to take pictures outside do that. So maybe not even a five minute, maybe just a two minute break, and then we'll continue with our board meeting. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, everyone. Yes. Yes. We're going to continue with the meeting. So, if everyone will kindly take a seat. Uh, I got this. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, no one. Um, uh, signed up for public comments for five or three minutes, so we're going to go down to our agenda items. Item number A, to consider and take action with respect to adopting a resolution giving primary approval to the issuance of the general obligation school refunding bonds of St. Tammany Parish Wide School District 12 of, Saint Tammany, of the Parish of St. Tammany, State of Louisiana, making application to the State Bond Commission for approval of said bonds and providing for other matters in connection therewith. Superintendent Falls. Thank you, Ms. Mullet. Um, I think this was discussed at the committee as a whole the other night, and Ms. Prevost is here to answer any questions you had. As mentioned, um, Mr. Sluter is out of town, and I believe... And Stephanie Ferry is here, too, from yes. our underwriter. Yes, Ferry is here. Raymond so. James. Great. Do, I had a question. Okay. Do we have to uh, make, a, op make a motion first before questions? Okay. Okay, we have a motion to accept this by Mr. Betancourt and second by Mr. Womack. Um, calling for questions. Mr. Hennigan. Yes, I'd, li I'd like to just make note to the board and the public. Uh, Ms. Ferry uh, had run some uh, numbers to indicate or show us the advantages of doing this now versus waiting two or three months to do it later. And, uh, you know, my recommendation is, you know, in light of the 
likely uh, rate increases that we're going to see out of the federal federal government. It's nice to have those numbers, but it would indicate that if we get good numbers uh, when this comes up for bid, that we accept them. So I'm very much in favor of doing this at this time. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hennigan. Mr. Kuzan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any other questions from board members? Any comments from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstained? So ordered. Motion carries. <laughs> Approval of the minutes for the regular meeting held April 14, 2016. <laughs> Mr. Kuzan, seconded by Ms. Seeley. Any comments from board members? Comments from the public? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? So ordered. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Appropriate retirement resolution for the following certificated personnel subsequent to April 14, 2016. Bear with me. Kalina, Kathleena Smith Boyette Junior High, 33.47 years, 27.47 years in St. Tammany Parish. Mary C. Clark, Clearwood Junior High, 26.5 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Laurie M. Caserta, Covington Elementary, 43.5 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. <laughs> Cynthia B. Higgins, Huggins, Covington Elementary, 13 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. <laughs> April S. McRae, Covington Elementary, 17.46 years, 15.46 years in St. Tammany Parish. Daryl E. Graham, Covington High, 33 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Marilyn M. Hawkins, Covington High, 28.56 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Dennis C. Holland, Covington High, 33 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Gerald J. Hubble, Covington High, 26 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Patricia B. Knight, Covington High, 24.25 years, 14.25 years in St. Tammany Parish. Mary K. Christopher, Cypress Cove Elementary, 10 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Carrie B. Mulling, Cypress Cove Elementary, 27.97 years, 15 years in St. Tammany Parish. Rila M. Rollins, 5th Ward Junior High, 28.44 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Carol D. Huff, Florida Avenue Elementary, 38.83 years, 21 years in St. Tammany Parish. Nancy V. West, Florida Avenue Elementary, 15.96 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Teresa L. Buell, Folsom Elementary, 33 years, 31 years in St. Tammany Parish. Kim M. LeBlanc, Fountain Blue High, 34 years, 12 years in St. Tammany Parish. Kevin P. Matthews, Fountain Blue High, 32.14 years, 31.64 years in St. Tammany Parish. Sharon P. Rivero, Fountain Blue High, 36 years, 22 years in St. Tammany Parish. Laura B. Adams, Fountain Blue Junior High, 31 years, 15 years in St. Tammany Parish. Cheryl A. Frederick, Fountain Blue Junior High, 29 years, 17 years in St. Tammany Parish. Jeannie H. Bloom, Harrison Curriculum Center, 31.5 years, 27 years in St. Tammany Parish. Patricia J. Carbajal, Harrison Curriculum Center, 38.05 years, 13 years in St. Tammany Parish. Jill A. Carbo, Harrison Curriculum Center, 31.16 years, 24.5 years in St. Tammany Parish. Teresa L. Foley, Harrison Curriculum Center, 33.55 years, 30.55 years in St. Tammany Parish. Nancy, excuse me, Nancy H. Franzo, Honey Island Elementary, 27.6. 7, 8 years, 25 years, St. Tammany Parish. Colleen H. Harrington, Honey Island Elementary, 35.96 years, 30.96 years in St. Tammany Parish. Suzanne B. Burris, 
Lake Harbor Middle, 29.49 years, 25 years in St. Tammany Parish. Elisa W. Bro, Lakeshore High School, 20 years, all, 12 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Judy M. McIntosh, Lyon Elementary, 28 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Teresa L. Benson, Madisonville Elementary, 20.91 years, 11.86 years in St. Tammany Parish. Sharon D. Delahousey, Madisonville Elementary, 26.28 years, 19.28 years in St. Tammany Parish. Yvette W. Williams, Madisonville Junior High, 29.61 one years, 22.66 years in St. Tammany Parish. Cynthia M. Libus, Libas, Mandeville Elementary, 29.85 years, 19 years in St. Tammany Parish. Mary H. Dimpry, 20, uh, Mandeville Junior High, 31 years, 26 years in St. Tammany Parish. Leela A. Uh, um, Cleveland, sorry, Mandeville Junior High, 26.96 years, 19 years in St. Tammany Parish. Gerald E. Singer, Mandeville High, 42 years, 30 years in St. Tammany Parish. Deborah H. Tongi, Mandeville High, 26 years, 21 years in St. Tammany Parish. Danae Piskey, Marini Elementary, 31 years, 19 years in St. Tammany Parish. Carm Carmelina W. Johnson, Man Man uh, Mayfield Elementary, 38.92 years, 32.92 years in St. Tammany Parish. John J. Jordan, North Shore High, 16.63 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Daniel C. O'Sullivan, North Shore High, 39 years, 29 years in St. Tammany Parish. Charlene L. Duggar, Pineview Middle, middle thir 37 years, 34.5 years in St. Tammany Parish. Ruth L. Terry Sipos, Pineview Middle, 40.98 years, 29.98 years in St. Tammany Parish. Paulo Dufour, Pitcher Junior High, 27 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Michelle J. Dunnis, Riverside Elementary, 38.89 years, 23 years in St. Tammany Parish. Pamela F. Hester, Riverside Elementary, 35.36 years, 24 years in St. Tammany Parish. Karen C. Courtright, Salmon High School, 15.5 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Christy V. Lyons, Salmon High, 35.54 years, 25 years in St. Tammany Parish. Mary B. Bernacki, Six Ward Elementary, 40.5 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. <laughs> Judy S. Gill, Six Ward Elementary, 35.92 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. <laughs> Roxanne R. Moran, Slattle High, 31.89 years, 39 years in St. Tammany Parish. Robert L. Sundron, Slattle Pupil Appraisal, 37.39 years, 13.96 years in St. Tammany Parish. Desi L. Artis, uh, Chifuncta Middle, 21.78 years, 15.99 years in St. Tammany Parish. Carol K. Levy, Chifuncta Middle, 29.16 years, 17.66 years in St. Tammany Parish. Mary F. Todd, Chifuncta Middle, 30 years, 29 years in St. Tammany Parish. Tammy S. Curry, Whispering Forest Elementary, 33 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Susan E. Lunning, Looning, Whispering Forest Elementary, 33 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Oh, I'm sorry. Got a little confused. 36.49 years, 25 years in St. Tammany Parish. Rebecca W. Priest, Whispering Force, 30 years, 20 years in St. Tammany Parish. I need a motion. Second. Okay.
Okay, Mr. Uh, Derman made a motion and there was a unanimous second. Is there any um, questions or comments from board members? <laughs> no, I will not read those names again. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have a question, Mr. Mr. Kuzan? I can't count that up, Mr. Kuzan. <laughs> 1,775.13 years. Pardon? You want me to read the any comments from the public? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? So ordered. I'm going to botch up the next ones, but I, I, I'm going to I'm going to go for it. <laughs> okay. Appropriate retirement resolution for the following non non certified personnel subsequent to April 14th, 2016. Claudia P. Campbell, Alt Alton Elementary, 28.17 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Erna A. Bassey, Bassey Bayou Elementary, Bayou, Bayou Lacombe Middle, 26.72 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Wanda R. Rodas, Bayou Woods Elementary, 22.46 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Edward L. Mays, Boyette Junior High, 24.79 years, 10.29 years in St. Tammany Parish. Barbette M. Boudet, Central Office, 32.42 years, 31.01 years in St. Tammany Parish. Charlotte P. Weller, Honey Island Elementary, 15 years all in St. Tammany Parish. Jan J. Perry, Lee Rhodes Junior High, 33.93 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Anna H. Polini, Little Oak Elementary, 6.87 years, all in St. Tammany Parish, all in St. Tammany Parish. Oops, excuse me. Angela H. Jenkins, Lyon Elementary, 20.08 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Audrey R. Williams, Madisonville Junior High, 12 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Terry P. Wyndham, Madisonville Junior High, 29.39 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Richard E. Newman, Magnolia Trace Elementary, 8 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Brenda W. Pennington, Mandeville Junior High, 24.76 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Bonnie E. Bailey, Mandeville Middle, 20.85 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Patricia S. Bazell, Brazil, Madison, Mandeville Middle, 18.39 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Susan L. Craps, Mandeville Middle, 21.78 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Susan B. Hickman, Monteleon Junior High, 4.6 years, 1.4 four years in St. Tammany Parish. Joanne T. Chambers, Pine View Middle, 16.15 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Janet U. Riley, Pitcher Junior High, 6.86 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Patricia W. Cry, Pontchartrain Elementary, 14.62 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Sandra S. Taylor, Riverside Elementary, 18.55 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Marlene C. Rizk, Slato High, 32.17 years, 29.95 years in St. Tammany Parish. Christine M. Cassell, Cassell, Chifuncta Middle, 21.65 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Lloyd E. Lameth, Layman, Latham. Latham, sorry, uh, Junior, Transportation Center, 25 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Carol D. Lloyd, Transportation Center, 25 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Mer Mer Merle M. Merc Mul Mulkey, Transportation, 10 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Michael W. Odom, Transportation Center, 19 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Sandra P. Page, Transportation Center, 25 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Ricky R. Wyndham, 
Transportation Center, 26 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Christy G. Wiley, Transportation Center, 18.53 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Do I have a motion? Mr. Okay. Mr. Um, Womack made the motion and Ms. Drucker seconded it. Any comments from board members? Comments from the public? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? So ordered. All right. Moving along. 608 years of experience. Wow, congratulations to everyone, yes. Now we're going to get to the part of our school board meeting that I think most of the rest of the people who are sitting in the audience really want to hear about. <laughs> um, Mr. Fulce, we have the announcement of the principal for Abney Elementary School. Thank you, Ms. Mother. Board members, happy and proud to announce to you tonight the appointment of the principal at Abney Elementary School, Ms. Stephanie Jackson. <laughs> Stephanie, we're going to let you say a few words and then Mr. Kuzan has a presentation to you. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, I have two children, Carlos Jr. and Austin whom I'm sure you've heard several times throughout this. Um, but in the fall, they'll be attending Abney Early Childhood Education Center. Awesome. And so not only am I looking forward to being the principal of Abney Elementary, but as a parent of children in the Abney learning community. Great. And it's knowing that I have an unwavering commitment to make sure that Abney is a school and we continue to move to become the school that I want to send my children to. Advice. And the journey begins now. But I have been blessed with a support system with a fantastic faculty, many of whom have come out to see me tonight. I have several, the support of my parents, I have several parents in the audience here supporting me tonight. And with the support of the board, I know that we're going to continue to move Abney forward. And so as I think about the school theme for next year, it's all oh, the places you can go. And all I can do is smile because I know that we're going to go far. Awesome. So thank you for the opportunity. On behalf of the St. Tammy Parish School Board, I'd like to congratulate you on your appointment as principal at Abney Elementary School, along with my fellow board members and Superintendent Foles. We congratulate you and want you to know that we look forward to working with you. I would like to present you with this book, The Principal, Three Keys to Maximizing Impact by Michael Fulton. We hope you will enjoy it as well as your new position within the school system. Best of luck. Thank you. Stephanie, since you've already been selected, Stephanie, since you've already been selected, I must say that that slot L high green looks really good on you uh, tonight as well. All right. And as an Abney um, graduate, because I, I went to Abney Elementary just a few years ago. Yes. Congratulations. Mr. Fultz. Yes, uh, next up is the appointment of the principal at Pontchartrain Elementary School. Happy and proud to introduce tonight to you board members and to people in the audience, Mr. Tom Heyer. <laughs> Superintendent Fultz, Assistant Superintendent uh, Dr. Sanford, I'd like to thank you guys for the opportunity. Uh, your trust and confidence in me to uh, serve as Pontchartrain Elementary's principal. Uh, I stand before all of you with a heart of gratitude and humility for all those that went before me, that have sacrificed for me, that have not given up on me, that have fight when I failed, and uh, have believed in me when I've doubted. I, I pledge before all of you to maintain the tradition of academic excellence at Pontchartrain Elementary and to partner with parents and educators to reach and teach every child every day. Thank you. Uh, 
and administration, I want to congratulate you and uh, welcome you to the Pontchartrain uh, family. Of course, you were right next door, so That's it's right. not, not far. Um, I do want to present you this book, The Principle, Three Keys to Maximizing Impact. I haven't read it, but I read the cover. It looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a principal. So. I, I, the one comment, they, they talk about the principal being the second most influential person in the success of the students at a school. But I will say that, from my perception, the principal makes a difference between a good school and a great school. And, and that needs to be a great school. So good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Um, Mullet. Next up is item G, announcement of principal at Sixth Ward Elementary School, and proud and happy to announce tonight that that is Mr. Brian Herestus. He's digging for the speech, so we got to... Uh, hey, these guys didn't read, but I'm going to have to read. I apologize. Good evening, um, Mr. Fulce and esteemed members of the board. Uh, I really want to offer my sincerest thanks for providing me the opportunity to continue to serve the St. Tammany Parish School System as the principal of Sixth Ward Elementary School. During the last few years as the assistant principal, I've developed a genuine love for the Sixth Ward students, parents, faculty, and community. I'm committed to ensuring the school progresses as we strive for educational excellence. I cannot accept this position without giving a heartfelt thanks and recognition to Dr. Bernanke for her 28 years of service as the principal of our school. <laughs> She's going to kill me for that. <laughs> uh, I believe that feat is truly remarkable, Dr. Bernanke. I would also like to thank my beautiful wife, Megan, for her continued support as I continue um, in my career. Finally, I would like to say thanks again to the board and is with great respect for the entire Six Ward community that I accept this position. Thank you. Brian, on behalf of the Six Ward community of District 8, and thank you all for coming to um, cheer, cheer on the Subversive Board. We would like to um, congratulate you on your appointment for principal of uh, Sixth Ward Elementary. And with our school board members, Superintendent Foles, we look forward to continuing to work with you. And we appreciate everything that you do for Sixth Ward. And with that, we have a little token, uh, the principal, three keys of maximizing impact, author Michael Fullen that I'd like to pre present to you and congratulations again thank you, thank you. okay thank you and congratulations to all our new wonderful administrators I know you're going to continue to strive for excellence and um, and bring that to our schools. Thank you again. Okay, consideration uh, for bids of Slattle High, renovation and addition, St. Tammany Parish School Board, project number 1430. Remarks from Mr. Fulce. Thank you, Ms. Mullet. Tonight you have a memo and I think in your packet from Ms. Tipton to myself explaining to you that the, what we considered last week the low bidder did legally um, notify us that his low bid was made in error and because of that asked for and by legal David reviewed he is allowed to remove his bid with that being said the remaining bids put us way over the estimate of what we had projected for this job so in keeping in practice what we've done on other jobs we're going to ask that those bids be rejected Cameron has already started working with the school and others to look at different ways to rebid, put some of the things in as alternates and see what we come back at. But we just think it's important to be consistent with what we've done in other <coughs> situations and to reject these bids tonight and um, rebid them and Cameron and her crew will work as quick as possible with Mr. Person in the school to get it back out to bid. Okay. And that's and our recommendation. And I'm tonight. gonna make a motion that we accept this recommendation. Second. Okay. And Mr. Kuzan second that? Do we have any questions from board members on this? Comments from the public? 
All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Abstain? So ordered. Thank you, Ms. Tipton, for doing that work and taking care of that. Okay, we have approval of, um, of recommendations for the committee as a whole meeting, administration and business affairs meeting that was held May 12th of this month. And we have Mr. Jeter with that report. Mr. Jeter. Uh, thank you, Ms. Mullick. The committee as a whole for administrative and business affairs met on May the 12th, 2016. Recommendation number one recommends the acceptance of the revision of the compliance notice in the district handbook for parents and students for the 2016-17 school year. Do I have a motion? I move. Second. Motion by Ms. Seeley, seconded by Ms. Drucker. Okay. Any questions from board members? Comments from the public? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? So ordered. Uh, recommendation number two recommends the acceptance of the cooperative endeavor agreement between St. Tammany Parish government and the St. Tammany Parish School Board regarding generators. I have a motion by Mr. Womack and seconded by Ms. Drucker. Do we have any comments from board members? Comments from the public? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain, so ordered. Uh, recommendation number three recommends acceptance of the low bid, base bid submitted by Leon Lowe and Sons Incorporated in the amount of 835000 for the water and sewer tie-ins at Boyette Junior High, Little Oak Middle School, St. Tammany Parish School Board Project number 1485. A motion by Ms. Belisario, seconded by Ms. Seeley. Any comments from board members? Comments from the public? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstained? So ordered. Thank you, Mr. Jeter, for that uh, report. Certification You're welcome. Of, certification of board members, Neil M. Hennigan, Elizabeth B. Heinz, Willie B. Jeter, Peggy H. Seeley, Sharon Lowe Drucker, Ronald Ron Betancourt, Robert R. Bob Womack, Richard Ricky Hershey Jr., Robin P. Mullet, Dennis S. Kuzan, and Mary Kay Belisario, in completion of one hour of training for the 2016, uh, presented on May 12, 2016. At, and as mandated by Louisiana Revised Statute 17 colon 53. Remarks from Mr. S uh, False. Thank you, Ms. Muller. Do certify that the board, above named board members, did indeed complete the training on May 12th. Thank you, Mr. False. We do, I do um, have an, some announcements from uh, Jack, our board president. Central office and the satellite offices will be closed on Monday, May 30th. 2016 for Memorial Day. The next committee as a whole meeting will be held on Thursday, June 2nd. And uh, Superintendent False uh, would like to make some um, comments. I think I know board members, uh, many of you attended many of the graduation. I certainly appreciate that. Um, as we had traditionally done over the last few years, we're going to close our meeting with a recap video of all the um, graduations and I certainly um, look forward to seeing that. But before we do, uh, earlier this week, we sent a letter to the editor as well as, as a letter to the community and the, both the chambers as well as the North Shore Business Council and others have read this letter and run this letter and actually emailed blasted across the parish. So if you would indulge me, I would like to read this letter, share with the community, share with people that watch our board meetings and then after that, we'll show the video to close the meeting. So it says, Dear St. Tammy Parish Community, in the St. Tammy Parish Public School System, we believe in our commitment to providing the best education possible to our 38,000 plus students. Our eight high school graduations took place over the past two weeks, highlighted this commitment. I personally shook the hands of the more than 2,300 graduates at all of these commencement ceremonies, and I'm extremely proud of their accomplishments. Our graduates, just as you saw tonight, are shining examples of the St. Tammany community's investment in education and the success of our children. 
those students who walked across that graduation stage are headed to prestigious universities across the country, headed into the military to protect our country, or jumping into the workforce already trained with the skills needed to meet our parish's needs. Our school system theme this year was Be Inspired for Every Child Every Day. As one graduate told her fellow classmates, I give you one challenge, be someone's inspiration. I know the class of 2016 is prepared to meet that challenge, and I look forward to seeing all that they accomplish in the future. These students' educational journeys were developed and supported by thousands of amazing teachers, educators, and administrators. One of the principals said it best in commencement speech, be an inspiration and guide the next generation. Educators have a responsibility to teach children, but with that responsibility also comes the awesome, awesome privilege of being able to impact the future of our community. I would like to express a heartfelt thank you to everyone involved in preparing these students for the future. While many proud families attended the graduation, others couldn't be there, were able to watch the district's first ever live video stream of our graduations on YouTube. If you were not able to attend or watch your graduation, I encourage you to take a few moments to view the video and picture highlights on our school system website. I know that it will inspire you to see what the future holds. Sincerely, Trey Falls. Thank you. Wonderful.
Thank you. We, I'm sorry, yes, Mr. Nation. Thank you, Ms. Mullen. If I can take a moment of personal privilege, um, one of those 2,300 graduates this year was our daughter, Caroline. And from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of my wife's heart, I, I want to express our deepest gratitude to Bruce Bundy and to Kelly Brondham and to the teachers and, and all of Caroline's teachers at Mandeville High School and especially Mrs. Polly, the high school librarian, as well as the support of Superintendent Foltz and Superintendent Sanford and all those in the administration for Caroline's health issues this year. Uh, she graduated, but she could not have done it without the support of her teachers in this administration. And for that, Cheryl and I are profoundly thankful. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Are there any other comments from board members? It was beautiful. An, it, an executive session has been requested pursuit to Louisiana Revised Statute 42 17 A2 to discuss some matters. Do I have a motion? So moved. Okay. Second. I have a. <laughs> Mr. Derman, Mr. Betancourt. Any questions? Any comments from public? All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Abstain. So, order. We are now in executive session. We're going to take a three minute break. Thank you.